Okay, today uh, we're going to discuss video content. Video content is, there's two things that are important on YouTube. Video content and being reliable. So if you say you're going to put a, a video out like once a week, then be reliable. Put it out once a week. If you say you're going to put it out on Fridays, continue to put it out on Fridays. Your viewers know if you're reliable or not. All right, you got to be consistent. Um, a phrase that I use on the show uh, or with my friends when I'm teaching them about YouTube is feeding the beast. And by feeding the beast, you're constantly putting content on social media and th the beast is the internet or YouTube <clears throat> or Facebook or anything. So feeding the beast is constantly feeding information about your show. So put a video out market your video on in you know on social media uh and then take a poll in the middle of the week about food if you're a food show if you're about cars about cars uh pull your audience talk to your audience uh, you continually feed the beast so write that down feeding the beast is important because the moment you don't things decline whether it's your viewership or anything else so um so when you're looking at what kind of video content you want, um, let me tell you something. I know the food industry because I do cooking shows. Uh, I will tell you this, that if you're doing a cooking show, the moment you taste the food and mmm, that's good. The moment you do that, whether it's the Food Network or your show or whatever, is the moment they bail, they leave the video. So if you have anything important to say in your video, or you have a sponsor, make sure it's way before then. I always do my sponsorship the first minute of the video, um, just in case people tune out, they saw my sponsor and uh, they, got, they got notified on uh, you know, who sponsored the video and all that. Um, but yeah, so make sure you get your, stuff, your important stuff up front in your video, okay? Um, the other thing is, uh, it, it's important to pick, some of you do videos that take 100 hours. I know like Peter Hollins, uh, he's an acapella singer. His stuff, he puts 100 hours per video. The guy's amazing, it's, it's incredible. Uh, what I do is brainless, but what he does is artistic and he puts a lot of time and effort into it. He has a lot of video editing to do, special effects and everything. Same with Final Cut King. He, even his short little special effects take hours and hours to do. So it depends on what your show is, but your video content, um, all, I can, all I can do is recommend, um, when I tell people who are starting in YouTube, follow the calendar. So for example, if you're a car show, I've been using that throughout the series because I don't wanna just focus on food. But if you're a car show and winter's coming, Okay, you got to show people how to winterize their car, if they need to winterize their car, how important it is, where not to get ripped off. These are all tips we need. Follow the calendar. Okay, so if it's coming into Christmas, um, you want to make sure that your videos are like, like on a food show, you want all food, Christmas uh, food, or Thanksgiving food, or um, Fourth of July, you may be doing how to make your own fireworks. I don't know. Follow the calendar. So when it's Valentine's Day, where's, where, how can you be romantic? I mean, you think of stuff like that. Just look at your calendar and you'll know what to do. So for example, when we're about ready to start barbecue season, I know, I know, true barbecuers never stop. But barbecue season for everybody else, people who don't barbecue that often, um, it's, starting to, it's starting to pick up now. It's starting to buy more barbecue sauce, it's starting to buy more meat, it's starting to buy more... Uh, pellets, more wood chunks, more charcoal. Uh, so we start doing those. I'm going to be doing a smoking video coming up because I want to make sure I'm ready because I'm following the calendar. That's what happens when you get in the spring. Once it starts warming up, people start coming out of their houses and cooking outdoors. Um, you know, there's so many, I, I don't know what you're into. So let's say you're into painting. Uh, you want to do summertime painting. You don't want to do cold wintry painting. Um, you want your pictures to be uh, summer related. And then as you go through the year, you continue to change with the feeling of people. 
So basically follow the calendar for content. Now there's a, another tip I want to share with you guys and it's called tent pole videos. This is huge. Tent, like a tent when you go camping, tent pole videos. All right. Pay attention because the tent pole is considered the center pole, the tallest pole of your tent. The most important pole in your tent is that very center point where it goes to the highest. Okay. There, I don't know why, who named this. I don't know if it's, if it's a thing. I don't even know if you know about this, but let's say, for example, I don't know, let's say, uh, uh, president, the president choked on a, a Coney Island hot dog. Okay. And I'm going to do a video related to that because it's a hot item. So I'm going to do a video, how to make Coney Island hot dogs, official Coney Island hot dogs, because I know everybody's searching for that. So let me give you a, a true life example. So we have this, this issue around the world right now that we're dealing with. And, um, uh, the big thing is toilet paper, hand sanitizer, stuff like that, uh, rice, potatoes, all that. So I did a video called uh, how to make homemade hand sanitizer. That's a tent pole video because it's hot right now. Everybody wants to know about it right now. All you gotta do is follow the headlines, whatever's going on in the world, all right? And literally within two days, I had over 100,000 views because everybody was all on that. Now I don't, you know, I'm sure, I'm, I'm betting about all of them were not my viewers, not my subscribers, but it was a hot topic. And you don't wanna, don't fake it. If it's not in your genre or you can't, you, you can't fathom you're a car guy and you're making, you know, you could make hand sanitizer, but you probably don't want to. So uh, you wanna stick with car things. Stay in your lane and try to hit those hot topics going on in the news. Okay, for example, I know our church, for example, if I'm a car guy, okay, my church is closed. So we're going to be doing drive-in church. We can pull your car in, turn, tune to a, um, our pastor on the radio and listen to him do the sermon. And he'll be out there. I don't know if he'll be on the roof. I don't know if he'll be in front of the church. I don't know if he'll be indoors, but he will be broadcasting church service. And then you can drive by and give donations or whatever. Um, that is kind of cool. That's, you know, if you're a car guy, drive in, it makes sense. You could do a video on that and cover that. So basically, tent pole videos are doing videos related. Now, don't jump on every headline. Don't jump on every headline. If it has nothing to do with you, leave it alone. But if it's related to you, then grab it. it like, uh, I did one that had nothing to do with me, but it had to do with a fellow YouTuber. Uh, I think he was Jake Paul. Whoever the gentleman was that showed the dead body on YouTube, he got punished. Uh, he got reprimanded. The day he got reprimanded, I posted just a short little video of me talking and saying how I felt about it, how I felt about this guy, how I felt about YouTube's response to him. Uh, he got a little, little tap on the wrist, and that was it. You know, to me personally, I think he should have been yanked off the show for showing a dead body on YouTube, but whatever, his show's still alive. I mean, he's making, you know, he's making YouTube millions. They're not gonna get rid of him. So anyway, they were punishing him. I got on, I did a video, and within like one day, within 24 hours, I had like 75,000 views. Why? Because it's a tent pole video. Now remember, you only have about 24 hours to put up a tent pole video. Maybe, you know, a few days, the issue going around the world right now, I had a few days, because it's a lingering hot topic. But most news, I mean, us as Americans, we're on to the next thing the next day. We have, we have issues going on like crazy. So we have uh, tornadoes and pandemics and all that stuff. So anyway, um, so make sure you follow the calendar. You do tent pole videos. Um, I used to think that keeping my videos are under five minutes. It depends. Like people don't want to see. Okay, for let's say I'm I'm stirring in a bowl. You don't want to see ten minutes of me stirring. 
you have to know when, what to cut out, what to leave in your video. So trimming your videos properly. Uh, so I do one, two, cut. I go to the next ingredient, the next scene. I don't want to bore you guys. Your time is valuable. When somebody's watching my video, their time is valuable. And please remember, please remember the viewers are the reason you're on YouTube. The viewers are the reason I have a show. So realize that. So, uh, you know, show respect to the viewers. Um, they're taking the time to watch your video. And this way you can make a living at YouTube. Okay, so uh, be thankful for them. Uh, treat them with respect and love. And uh, don't get frustrated by viewers. There's so many different types of people, but most of viewers love you. They're good followers. Um, realize they're kind of like a second family. Okay. So remember, you got to have good content. You got to follow the calendar, tent pole videos, uh, trim your videos correctly. And this is all related to content. Make sure the content's good. Make sure you got good audio because if you don't have good audio, the video can be a little grainy or low budget, but the audio, they won't be forgiving. So good audio is more important than good video to a, a, a YouTube viewer, at least in my opinion, what I've learned over the years. So have fun with it. Don't always chase the headlines, but if it feels appropriate and you wanna do a video related to the headlines, make that tentpole video. Do it, do it quickly so you can get it out there before the next great travesty happens. <laughs> anyway, you guys take care. I hope you're all safe. Um, I love you guys. And um, I hope these, this video series is helping you. Uh, content marketing. We're going to be talking about a lot of different things. We have more videos on the way. Uh, then I'm going to do another series uh, on social media. We're going to talk about each social media on its own. Okay? We're going to talk about the best practices, how to post properly, how to tag properly, all that good stuff. We're gonna go through that. So it'll be a social media uh, series. But right now, this is strictly about getting started on YouTube. All right, I love you guys. I'll see you later, bye-bye.